principles of training. Training means exercising regularly to improve skill and fitness. The training that an athlete does must be appropriate for that person and their sport in order to get them the most out of their training. Definition and descriptions of the principle of training. The principles of training should be thought of as a golden rules of making fitness training work for the individual participant. Following these golden rules will help to guarantee success and will carry athletes toward their training and performance goals. All training is aided at creating long-term physical changes in the body systems. These changes are referred to as adapt adaptations. Specificity. Training must be relevant to the individual and their sport. This can be achieved by tailoring a training specifically for the sport or even the position that the individual plays. The muscle group that they use the most or the dominant energy system of the athlete. For example, a 100 meter sprinter is like to train very different to a 10 kilometer racer, despite them both being track athletes. The sprinter will focus on speed and power, while a distance runner will train for cardiovascular fitness and the ability to work at high intensity. Overload. Training needs to work the body harder than normal so there is some stress and discomfort. This makes the body systems respond by adapting to the stress placed on them. Applying the overload principle to training means the performance will improve. No overload, no improvement. Overload can be achieved by using FIT. Progression. Training should be progressively become more difficult. Once the body has adapted, the performer should make further demands on the systems. However, increases must be gradual so that the athlete avoids a plateau in performance or worse, an injury. So the progression is making the skill a little bit harder, a little bit harder, a little bit harder every time you train. Reversibility. If training stops, then the fitness gain will be largely lost. The body system reverse or de-adapt and performance deteriorates if training is significantly reduced decreased in intensity or injury prevents take training from taking place for any length of time. It is essential to avoid breaks in training and to maintain the motivation of the athlete. So this is quite simply, I would think reversibility, reversing in a car is going backwards. If you stop training, you will lose the fitness which you have gained. Rest and recovery. Physical ad adaptions occur during the recovery, a non-active period of the training cycle. Therefore, athletes and trainers must achieve the right amount of rest between sessions. Good sleep patterns and the right nutrition, including the use of protein to help repair the damage caused by intense training. Optimizing training. Overload and progression can be applied to training using the FIT principle. F, frequency. I, intensity. T, time. T, type. FIT. Frequency is how often you train. For example, three times a week. Frequency 
is increased by training a greater number of times each week. Intensity is how hard you train. For example, faster, heavier, less recovery. Intensity is increased by lifting a greater resistance such as with weight training or by training at a higher percentage of a maximum heart rate. This can be done either by continuous or interval training. Time is how long you train for, for example, a 30 minute session. Time can be manipulated by training for longer or by completing a greater number of sets or repetitions. Type of training is what kind of training you do, for example, interval, fartlek or continuous. Types, type is manipulated by offering a variety of training types and experience to athletes by combining training methods. Training frequency, intensity, time or type must be increase or overload. Uh, this is to ensure that the body is pushed beyond its normal workload. Here are some couple of questions. Have a go. Any problems answering class? If you notice here as well, the star, you're getting marked on your grammar and punctuation. And that is a six mark question.